Hi, welcome to the next section, making apps responsive with asynchronous programming. This section will introduce you to asynchronous programming. Let's start with our first video, return types of asynchronous functions. Before we begin, let's first look at asynchronous programming. Asynchronous programming is an exciting feature in C Sharp. It allows you to continue program execution on the main thread while a long-running task finishes its execution. When this long-running task is complete, a thread from the thread pool will return to the method containing so that the long-running task can continue execution. The best way to learn and understand asynchronous programming is to experience it. The videos in this section will teach some of the basics to you. In asynchronous programming, the async methods can have three possible return types. These are void, task, and task of type T result. We will take a look at each return type. What could be the use of a void return type in asynchronous methods? Generally, void is used with event handlers, just to bear in mind that void returns nothing, so you can't wait for it. Therefore, if you call a void return type asynchronous method, your calling code should be able to continue executing code without having to wait for the asynchronous method to complete. With asynchronous methods that have a return type of task, you can utilize the await operator to pause the execution of the current thread until the called asynchronous method has completed. Keep in mind that an asynchronous method that returns a type of task basically does not return an operand. Therefore, if it was written as an asynchronous method, it would be a void return type method. This statement might be confusing, but it will become clear as we move ahead. Finally, asynchronous methods that have a return statement have a return type of T result. In other words, if the asynchronous method returns a Boolean, you would create an asynchronous method with a return type of task bool. Let's start with the void return type asynchronous method. First, create a new Windows Forms project in Visual Studio called WinForm Async. We will be creating a new Windows Form application so that we can create a button click event. In the WinForm Async Forms Designer, open Toolbox and select the button control, which is found under the All Windows Forms node. Drag the button control onto the Form 1 Designer. With the button control selected, Double click on the control to create the click event in the code behind. Visual Studio will insert the event code for you. Change the button1 underscore click event and add the async keyword to the click event. This is an example of avoid returning an asynchronous method. Next, create a new class called async demo. The next method to add to the async demo class is the asynchronous method that returns T result, in this case, a Boolean. This method simply checks whether the current year is a leap year. It then returns a Boolean to the calling code. The next method to add is the void returning method that returns a task type so that it allows you to await the method. The method itself does not return any result, making it a void returning method. However, in order to use the await keyword, you return the task type from this asynchronous method. Finally, add a method that will call the previous asynchronous methods and display the result of the leap year check. You will notice that we are using the await keyword with both method calls. In the button click, add this code that calls the long running task asynchronously. Running your application will display the Windows Form application. Before clicking on the button 1 button, ensure that the output window is visible. Clicking on the button 1 will display the outputs to our output window. Throughout this code execution, the form remains responsive.